It's me, Mikey Pipes. Having a great, great Friday afternoon. 85 degrees in the pool, living the dream. Work hard, play harder. In this video, we're going on a service call earlier today, and it's actually a client that we service is building at down the block from our shop in Valley Stream. This is his home. It's in Roslyn, you know, north of the Long Island Expressway. High net worth, houses there, and his central air conditioning, one of three, um, is down. His HVAC guy that he normally uses, something happened with him, but he was there a couple weeks ago, added a couple pounds of refrigerant, R22, and it lasted a couple days. So in this video, we're going to verify the problem and because of the age of the system, discuss replacement and ultimately seal the deal for a new Bosch IDS 2.0. You're not gonna wanna miss this. I go over a little bit of specifics on reasons for replacement and what I exactly do during a replacement install. All right, stay tuned, make sure you thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Good morning. Hi. How are you? How are you? How are you doing? All right. Um, you got me in Dallas Street. Is that? Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I have a driveway in the back. Okay. And you can just pull in the back there. The air conditioner is right by the driveway. Oh. I go walk around, just go around the block and everything like that. Okay. And I'll stand the driveway in this way and see where it is. What's I'll wrong? All right. Um, I had a guy here. My guy passed away. The guy that used to do my house. Okay. So um, I had a guy who does the oil. We also has the um, com home hard comfort. Okay. Came here, he said you needed two pounds, put two pounds of pressure in it. Okay. Because that hadn't been tested in since before COVID. Okay. And then two days later it went dead. It's just blowing hot air. Okay. So I don't know. If How long ago was this? Uh, two weeks ago. We had that yep. 90 degrees in the middle of 90 degrees. Yep. Just stopped playing. Filter clean. Right. Was the filter clean? I changed the filters. Okay. So he wants to drive around. Okay, no problem. Uh, no, I just it's easier for you to figure out. Okay. Think so. <laughs> no problem. Go around the block. My driveway's behind Okay, no problem. All right, so let's drive around the block. Let's see. We're in East Hills. It's north of the Long Island Expressway. Did he send me on a wild goose chase? Uh, let's go see. Well. I bet you she uses R22. I bet you this one's probably 22. And so is this one. And if you notice right away, we don't have enough separation between the three units. Commonplace. And I bet you they're all oversized. Which one did he say is wrong? This one. It's hot. Sorry about the uh, condenser fan noise. Figured I'll mute it out by talking. It's kind of loud, sorry. They've done a great job servicing this thing, obviously. Goodman. Five ton. Be 90 degrees tomorrow too by the way. Let's see, what do you what do you guess? 20 PSI in it? <clears throat> if that wow. Nothing in it. 17 pounds. <laughs> 
So this is the back part, second floor. No, it's a den. Uh, that's that's the um, no, that's the bed, back bedrooms. The back bedroom. So that's that's a three ton unit. This is your first floor. This is my first. That's floor a five ton unit. And this is your second floor, which is also a five ton. That's five ton. Yeah, it's a sixty on it. It's huge. Wow. All right, let's go talk uh, replacement system. I gotta see your attic. I gotta see the air handle. And hopefully you have a nice attic. I have a nice attic. Should be. Come on, you're a plumber. You should have nice attics. Right, you're the plumber with your partner's a plumber. I am. Yeah. He's the one with the Trump, uh... Yeah. He's the one with all the Trump stuff. He's got that one. That's your brother? Yeah, that's my brother. That's your brother? I <laughs> love that Trump truck. I mean, a lot of people do. <laughs> He's suing Long Beach for $25 million. Why? Because they try to force him to take his flags down. And he's got free speech. Free speech. So he's got lawyers. He's got a lawyer from Dallas, uh, from Long Beach, and he's got a, uh, two lawyers from Washington D.C. Wow. And he handled his case. Crazy. And he just did a <laughs> he just did a two hour um, two hour interview. Pull downstairs. Perfect. What's it say? This is probably one of the most sexiest attics I've ever been in. Oh my god, I love this. I might have to blow the guy. <laughs> we need a, you know what we need? We're gonna need um, a little dolly, one of those mechanics, uh, those creepers. Because doing what I'm doing right now? I'm doing this. I'm, I'm doing this. Oh, all right, let's see. All right, so here we have a uh, hydro coil for heating. It's hooked up to a boiler. Is an aquastat, turns the fan on. We have a misting humidifier. That's that water line. There's the humidistat. Here is the air handler. All right. Yeah, it's a 60. See that? Wow, it's a huge, huge system. And Let's see how they slapped on the return. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. All right, so we have a 240 volt, 240 volt air handler, and we have accessible attic. Oh, cast iron venting. Wow, look at that. Mike. Wow. Cast iron venting, beautiful. All right, this is probably an 18 inch flex. Let me just confirm that. 18, 18, perfect. And it looks like, is there some kinks in this? We're probably gonna replace the flex. New, new 18 inch flex to the return there. Yeah, we'll get a new 18 inch flex. We need a return plenum. And we're probably gonna need a transition on this. Yeah, and but he's not gonna get a five ton. He's getting he's getting a manual J calculation done, and he's probably gonna see a three ton. All right, stay tuned. I'm not worried about this. I'm not worried about this. No, but you have an R22 base system, right? Yeah. Freon. Freon was was phased yeah. out yeah. in 2010 equipment uh, wise yeah. and the manufacturing of raw r22 virgin r22 uh january 1st 2020 was the end date so we, we're past that so you can't you know you can still get freon the refrigerant but it's ridiculously expensive because it's not being produced anymore in the united states so uh, no, and so and so you have you have 20 30 year old equipment that uses r22 freon all the newer equipment uses r410a which is the "Quote unquote ozone, non-ozone depleting compound refrigerant. It's supposed to be safe for the atmosphere and the environment, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> wait. You wait. Give us, give them a few more years, and they'll outlaw that too next. But you cannot. So you have very little re refrigerant in your system. There yeah. could be leak or leaks anywhere. Well, there are leaks. Yeah. Uh, it could be in the outdoor unit. Could be in the indoor unit. Could be in the copper lines. The only way to make this go away, 100% is you take out the air handler, you take out the outdoor unit, we abandon the copper lines that are in place, and we make it look pretty outside with covers, make it look nice, and it's all new. 
The only thing that you keep is your ductwork, which is intact. The return ductwork, though, is not. I'm going to replace that. And they just slapped on, you know, the duct to the side of the machine without actually putting a piece of ductwork there. They put, use a piece yeah. of sheet metal. It's not, that's not a professional job. <laughs> that's gross. So. Yeah, I threw the first guy off the job. <laughs> Yeah. You do that in your career. I'm sure you throw some guys. You've done it a couple of times. And you're licensed in New York City, right? Yes. How many years? Oh, uh, it's 80, 87. Wow. Very nice. I got one of the oldest numbers. They want me to. They want me to. Uh, oh, so you can test. actually wipe some lead. Yeah, um, yeah, I've wiped a lot of lead. <laughs> you wiped a lot of lead. I had a couple of pieces that I did that were down in the basement and uh, had a flood about three years ago, and they threw them out. You know, from lead. Yeah, well, it was, it was the actual finished pieces from the test. All hmm. the wipes. Oh, yeah. nice. Good but, stuff. Uh, would it be, so you got to replace both both units outside. Yes. Uh, now, the problem that we're going to have now is, you know, as, you, as you're sure aware, nothing's available no, in, in, in every heard. industry. Yeah, I heard that. So there are some things I can get within a week, and there are some things I can get within a month, yeah. or, and if not longer. So... The higher, um, what I'm noticing now, that in the past month or two, the high-end equipment, I can get within a week. Um, the super efficient systems. The, the normal, you know, average of standard efficiency that normally we normally install, or yeah. the one step above that, not available. Not available at all. So I typically, like before this year, my go-to brand was Carrier. Yeah. Carrier makes a great system. Um, literally one person could install it. Because the air handler comes apart in two pieces. You take it apart. You know, I can get it to any attic, uh, but I can't get air handlers. Or if I can get an air handler, I can't get a condenser, the outdoor unit. Right. So this year, we've been saw a huge uptick of Bosch systems. Uh, Bosch makes the top rated uh, HVAC equipment in the industry. Seriously. Right. They really do. But it comes at a premium. Um, the first concern here is you have a five-ton system for probably a three-ton floor. That's a, that's a, that's a big no-no. When you oversize a system at, to that extreme, and it's five tons, the model number of the air handler is, is a 60. It's 60,000 BTUs, so that's a tonnage of the system. I wasn't wrong. Um, when you was, oversize a system, the air, the problem is you'll have problems with humidity. You will, you will cool the temperature down so quickly because it's oversized um, to, to remove the temperature, I'm sorry. You remove the temperature so quickly because it's oversized, but it, you don't have enough opportunity for slower airspeed to actually extract the humidity from the air. All right. So I never oversize the system. I've done it once, and he's not happy, but it's what he wanted. Okay. No, no, I understand where you're going from because I had the system. This guy put in the stuff work. Mm-hmm. Nice stuff work. But well, he did the duct work for and then he delivered uh, gas gas furnaces. And I, I told him, it says on the plant oil only. And he wanted to put an oil burner up in my uh, attic. And I go... An oil furnace. An oil furnace. Yeah. You can't do that. And he goes, oh yes I can. He said, I've done it in Brooklyn. And I said, no, no, no. no. And then I, and we had a whole <laughs> argument and he said he didn't want to take the gas furnace back. We can get out of the attic. And the plants say oil on it. <laughs> and he, so I threw him off the job. Wow. And then I hired my friend Ron to come and finish her, but he de he delivered those the um, the compressors outside. Okay. Well, he delivered three of the same, so I must have had three five ton units out there because they were all the same. And then one went out, and then the other one went out, and then this one. So went out. crazy. I so, like that. It's nuts. So the guy that I had, he said we we're on the job. He just took them up, but he told me there were three and a half tons. Each one was three and a half tons, but I knew that big one in the middle is five tons. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I knew that, but the uh, yeah, still not. <laughs> All right, let's go down there. All right, so I love your cast iron, by the way, venting. Well, that's what you I very. I know. I know this is what you do. <laughs> so my, the plumbing inspector looked at this. He said, "No PVC." I said, "No." Nah. I, I stayed at the Flamingo Hotel for business. Yeah. And every time someone flushed the hotel uh, toilet, you can hear the, the whole building. <laughs> I said, "I'm not doing that." <laughs> All right. Yeah, I just I just renovated my whole entire house, ripped out. You know, everything was cast on for waste pipe. The venting, I, I, I kept PVC. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. We verified what the issue was. Immediately came to the conclusion it's not cost effective to even make any repairs or further diagnosis on it. And the customer approved an installation of the Bosch IDS 2.0 system. Phenomenal machine. 
highest rated air conditioning equipment that's on the market right now, in my opinion. And many other HVAC professionals also agree with that statement. It's a phenomenal machine. Phenomenal machine. Uh, lead, current lead time is seven days. So I may get it next week delivered. Uh, if not, the following week, beginning of the following week, will, it'll be installed. So hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned for the installation video. Be well. God bless. Stay tuned for more great and exciting episodes from the one and only Mikey Pipes. Thanks so much for watching.